Glory to Jesus Christ. You ever notice how in our culture, how quickly things get out of date or considered old fashioned or old? I mean, look how fast these things get out of date, have to be updated. Styles and fashions, movies, TV shows, we, cars. We think of things that are only a few years old as being old. And we think of this too quickly. Iconography, though, teaches us that there are certain things that are good for all time. All time. They have a perennial value. In other words, it's not that they're old or old-fashioned. Now we have to get something new or modern. Icons and iconography teach us that certain things are good for all time. And here's an example right here. This is an icon of a recent saint, St. John Paul II. He was, of course, a pope. And a unifier between the two lungs of the church, east and west. In fact, he's the one that came up with that term, the church breathes with both lungs, east and west. Okay, this is a contemporary saint, a saint of today. Most of the time when we look at icons, it's a saint that lived a long time ago. So we sometimes think that icons are some ancient sort of outdated or old kind of art. Not so. They are good for all time. A contemporary saint, however, painted according to the ancient timeless principles of iconography. Notice the frontal pose. Looking straight at you, his hand raised in the gesture of blessing, indicating the Trinity, the three fingers, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and the two natures of Christ. He holds his staff, his papal staff, in this hand while blessing in that hand. Around his head is the halo made of 23 karat gold leaf. Behind him is the color that is a solid color. It could be gold or some other color. Here it happens to be blue, a very common background color in icons, indicating, again, a kind of a dimensionlessness. You don't know whether that sky, is that a wall he's standing in front of, what? There's no dimension to it because icons try to communicate the person as in heaven, spiritualized, where there is no dimension, no limits. At the same time, we know it's them because we can recognize their body. Same thing as Christ. This is what icons try to do. They depict people the way they are in heaven, just as Christ was when he appeared after his resurrection. He had his own body, but he was spiritualized. Somehow it was both things together. It's a mystery, but it's also a promise fulfilled. So here in this contemporary icon, we take the ancient principles of iconography, as St. Augustine said about God, ever ancient, yet ever new. And we apply those principles to a modern day saint. Again, icons give us a vision of reality and reality is such where some things don't get out of date. Some things just aren't old fashioned. Some things are good for all times. And that is what iconography teaches us. Glory to Jesus Christ.